Alright, let's do another one right now, cause fuck it. I'm being inspired. Yes, yoga is life. But I mean, don't... Don't bash or look down upon people that go to yoga classes. That repetition is important. For you to realize. For you to finally come to realize. That yes, you're doing yoga with your body. But you're also doing it with your mind. Because the mind is the body and the body is the mind. So what happens when we do yoga? We become more flexible in our body. Then we witness that we also become more flexible in the mind. Then we witness that beyond these classes, we take these principles that we've cultivated, this dedication, and and it bleeds into our life. This is what is meant by yoga is life. This is what is meant by meditation is life. And taking the time to cultivate these practices of yoga, of meditation, we witness how that translates into our daily lives. So with yoga, it's a lot like martial arts. You take that awareness that you've cultivated in yoga or in a martial art or in a meditation. And whenever you're presented with things in life, you're able to draw upon those experiences. To take a step back from the initial reactionary mode that we're used to being in, that we're used to seeing everyone being in, we're able to stop and think, stop and bear witness, to choose, to choose, do I, how, how do I want to react? What is the best mode here? to stop from the initial response, go back within and feel, mm. okay, this is how I really want to respond to this. This is what yoga really is, yogic, to yoke. Feel the authentic self and to disengage from the reactionary, or you could call it egotistical self. To start to initiate from that mode, from the mode of groundedness, of feeling who you really are in the moment, every moment, and going from that starting point. That's what yoga is really all about. 